What's going on everybody? Today may be one of the most fascinating unboxings in a long long time. It's the Boom Racing BRX02 and I guarantee you, you will be impressed. Are you ready? So here we go, hot off the press, the BRX02. We are gonna unbox the chassis kit and the body, match made in heaven. So the chassis kit comes in two versions, a link version, a four link version with coil shocks and a leaf spring version. So I'm gonna get both, but first, the first one that arrived is the coil shock four link version. So I'll show you that first and here it is. So here is what you see when you open the package. Very, very compact the way they, they put this in. There's three levels of this, and I'll show you each level. So the Boom Racing BRX is the successor to this beautiful vehicle of mine. This is the BRX-01. It's the vehicle that I'll probably hang on to forever. It's just a work of art and uh, just an amazing vehicle. Uh, it's not meant to be, you know, a comp crawler performer, but it's meant to be a scalar hard body, but it's still pretty darn amazing. So the biggest update I believe is this chassis rail. It's a very thick chassis rail. I don't know, eight millimeters, 10 millimeters of carbon fiber. So it doesn't really bend <laughs> and it's very light. Next thing I'll show you are the shocks. So here they are, 90 millimeter, I believe. So pretty long, but pretty, pretty scale, all metal. What's really cool about these is they don't seem to leak. <laughs> A lot of hardware. This one's cool. This is, I believe, the belly or, or the skid. But already what you'll notice with, with um, boom racing, is everything is metal, pan hard links, and they have a nice texture to them, beveled screw holes, so they'll be flush, two sets of extra springs, impressive huh? So this is level two, so super cool packaging, not only is it neat to look at, but it also makes it way organized. Okay, the um, Obvious things here are the bumpers. And these bumpers are very cool, very metal. Kudu, I believe. I had to get an option bumper for my BRX, but comes with stock with this one. So carbon fiber parts. Not sure what this is. Looks like it should be a battery, but the, but the battery tray I believe is here. Not sure if it shows in the photos, but the quality of the parts, this is a shock tower. So much adjustability. And a nice metal and anodized as well. So really nice texture. This looks like a servo mount. Like a st stainless steel link. Maybe the pan hard. Nice turnbuckle, but here is a really scale looking drive shaft. Uh, it goes metal to metal, super tight, no play whatsoever. And something kind of unique is the transfer case is empty. You gotta put it together yourself now. They think I think they wanted the uh, the buyer to have that experience. So okay. wheels and tires are really pretty cool. Um, very soft, very gummy rubber, and the wheels, they look, they look uh, so scale, so plain Jane, but they're so machined, even the, even the other side. Uh, deep dish is such high quality. 
radio box. So the radio, the, the radio box look, looks like a storage box, pretty cool. And it has a really nice seal here. here. So they actually have these rubber covers on uh, to protect them while shipping. But some of the smoothest axles ever comes assembled. You don't get the pleasure of putting that yourself. I don't trust you. <laughs> and here is the front axle. Just so smooth. You know, even at crazy, crazy angles, no binding. So a lot of degrees of articulation on this. Uh, the motor mount and transmission is cool because it's right there, so compact, much like your real car. And your motor, your pinion goes in the middle and the, the spur gear goes around the pinion. So that's how they make it so compact, low to the ground. Uh, and the way you adjust your mesh is with this thing. Um, it's invisible to you because it's inside, but they give you a visual cue outside as you, as you adjust the mesh. Over here, they supply you with a servo as well. This is a two-speed machine, a very good two-speed because there's a huge difference between first and second gear, more than twice. And here's the servo. Nice little servo, metal gear, and super cool is that it accepts 8.4 volts. Right now, it's built for really just two bodies, Team Rafi bodies, Land Rover Defender, uh, SUV, and the pickup. And I chose the pickup for this one, so it's going to look like that. Cool, huh? Oh, you know it's legit when there's a pretty thick manual just for the body. This thing has hundreds of parts just for the body. So, something really cool about this system is the uh, the body and the and the chassis are made for each other hard bodies are a pain in the neck to deal with and what they did is they designed their own uh, bolt free and body clip free system it is the most amazing thing ever i hope so I this is the body it's a very fancy body uh, seats windows Lots of screws, more seats. I mean, just can you believe how many parts there are in a body? Uh, so it, it, you know, hard body. Hope we can paint this and do it justice. This is the um, interior panels. A roof? Why does it have a roof for the back? Ah, interesting. Interesting. So, lights, mirrors, fenders, grill. So this is cool, I think. Um, <laughs> this is the, uh, the, the roof. I thought I had a pickup ago. Why does it complete it? But it goes right here. Boom. Vehicle. So, welcome to the next level. Oh, by the way, wheelbase is 13.2 uh, inches, so it's a long wheelbase vehicle. Uh, five pound vehicle on the chassis, but the, the body is probably another pound. So, two speed. So, we're going to put some fascinating, I don't know, brush or brushless, super servo. We're going we're gonna to build this up like crazy. All right. Thanks a ton.